But I believe that samarpan is more close to uh, sacrifice. Uh, actually, sacrifice means to give up something. And samarpan means to have nothing to give up. It means to be in balance and equilibrium, to be in the perfect stillness. And that is what we call samarpan. A little different from that. In order to give something away, you have to get it first. And that requires a lot of different activities. But it, samarpan means I just remain in peace, and balance, and offer myself. So, sir, you have stayed in Himalayas and you travel across the length and breadth. So, who actually motivated you to go to Himalayas for meditation? And uh, what were the hurdles, challenges you came across while in the mountains? Well, in all of India, she is the one who called me. So she, she absolutely sent me a message that you should come to India. In all of the India, I had many, many challenges. Uh, they were constantly telling me, Bhag Ferengi Bhag. And it was very difficult in order to cross the hurdles that allowed me to learn Sanskrit and to learn how to speak Bengali and Hindi and other languages too. Uh, and uh, there were just many challenges. And in certain Devi temples in India, lemons are offered to Ma Kali. So what is your take on this? These are local traditions. They are not enjoined by scripture. You won't find in Sanskrit anywhere where there's a padoti specifically explaining the worship of lemons or the worship of oranges or the worship of grapefruit or the worship of any other specific fruits. These are local customs and traditions. Which Rudraksh Mukhi actually represents Goddess Kali? Uh, 14 faced. She, she's worshipped on Chaturdasi. Uh, 14 faced Kali, uh, Rudraksha is uh, also for Kali, Maha Kali. How are asanas, yogas, pranayam uh, helpful in establishing a spiritual connection? In order to sit still, in order to make our mind sit still, we have to make our body sit still first. And in order to make our body sit still, they, they describe the path of yoga to put your body into a harmony. So if we talk about Ashtang Yoga, the eight steps of yoga, yam is the first. It means make a plan, take control of your life. Uh, don't wander aimlessly. Niyam, make a discipline. Asan, sit down, put your body in harmony. Pranayam, put your breath in harmony. Pratyahara, bring your senses to a point of focus. Dharana means three. There's a subject, an object, and a relationship. Dhanam means two. There's a subject and an object. The relationship is so intense that you can't describe it. Samadhi, there's only one. And that's the ultimate of Ashtanga the completion of you. Wow, that was so well explained. I really appreciate that. So, uh, what is uh, the cornerstone to manifest abundance and to achieve self-realization? Abundance and self-realization? <laughs> yes. That's a loaded question. <laughs> well, for abundance, we want to worship Mahalakshmi. Mah Mahalakshmi manifests the Laksha, and the Laksha is the goal. And your goal is what you value. And what you value is your wealth. So she is not necessarily the goddess who stands or presides over the cash register in the grocery store. She is more often the goddess who presides over your values and your goals of life. And when you worship Lakshmi, you clarify your goals, you make a sun call, you put your body into harmony and your breath into harmony and you bring your senses inside and then there is dharana, dhyan, samadhi. That is the way that we manifest both in the spiritual and in the material world. We achieve the success, the siddhi that we're seeking, both spiritual and material. What are the different stages of sannyas and how should one aspire to go with them? There are 16 initiations that every seminar is performing. Uh, and it, when we are, actually it's never too late to take seminars. The difficulty comes when you take too early. Uh, 
But if you take the sannyas, it is more a way of life than a vow of life. It's more an attitude towards life than it is a vow of how I should behave. But when you are actually behaving as someone who is established in truth, then you're ready to take the vows. And that uh, involves uh, a, very, a very series of, of initiations. We take initiation in mantra, we take an initiation in yantra, we take initiation in shastra, we take initiation in asana. There are various forms of initiation that Sanyasa can take in order to remain established in truth. Wonderful, that's great to hear. And today we are here for the Murti Pratisthapan of Kalima. I believe this is the first Murti in the Bay Area and you already have this in the Devi Mandar uh, where you are the priest in Napa Valley. So what is the significance of this moment? Why it is considered to be a rare moment or a lifetime opportunity for many devotees? Well, we establish life. It's called Pran Pratishtha. And we take our prana and we add it to her prana so that it remains with her for her entire existence. And all the devotees that will come to visit the temple will see her, this image, as a container of our devotion. She'll become a container of devotion, a container of consciousness. And that's what separates or distinguishes a murti from any other lump of clay. She is, it has been invited only to be the recipient of our energy, of our prana, of our, our devotion, our bhakti. And she will contain that devotion and preserve that devotion so that any devotee coming to visit this mandir will see her as the emblem who has been worshipped with love, with attentiveness, with wisdom, with consciousness, with understanding. And that's what they'll take away from the time. Wonderful. In the end, I would like to request you to please throw out a message for our IMB TV USA viewers. I have a message in Sanskrit. It says, Sri Vachaswam Ayusham Arogyam Abhidat Pavamanam Mahiyate Dhanandhanam Pashum Pakut Putram Labang Shatasam Vatsaram Dirgamayu Mantrata Safala Santu Purna Shantu Manora Taha Shatrunam Bhuti Nasho Stu Mitram Udayas Daba Ayush Kamo Yasas Kamo Putra Putras Tapiba Cha Arogyam Dana Kamas Cha Sarve Kamaha Babantume And it says we bless you with the highest respect and wisdom and illumination and good health and prosperity for yourselves and your children and your children's children for the, at least the next hundred years. Prima, you would also like to throw a message, please? <laughs> peace on earth, peace in heaven, peace to all, peace, peace, peace.